Kia ora, I'm Shane Cameron, former world ranked heavyweight, Commonwealth champion, and world title contender. Okay, and in this video, in this video, I want to do freestyle on the bag for maybe 10 or 12 minutes. Okay, but I'm going to be talking through the things that I'm doing, why I'm, in, why I'm doing them, how I'm doing them, and I'm going to show you how to do them. Okay, so it's just freestyle. I'll just think about what I need to think about, and then I'll explain to you, and then I'll demonstrate it. So the jab, the best punch in boxing. So it's all about timing and rhythm. Okay, and you're either strong or you're not. You're either a power puncher, and you get in there, and you, you're reckless. But if you're not a big puncher, you have to be really fit to keep up because you may not be able to knock the guy out, but you need to be able to outwork him. So that's your call. Only you know how strong you are. Okay? So the jab. The jab can be thrown many, many different ways. Okay? There's a flick jab where you get, where you get a little bit of power, but not as much. Okay? And how do you get more power? You use your... So, that's just me using my arms. See, my body is quite static, it's not going anywhere. But you can change that just by a little movement here. See, by doing that, as soon as I change that, you look, see, the notice the difference in the power? Just by that. And I'm not closing the distance between me and my opponent, so I'm not going to go into his range and then hit, I'm at risk of getting hit. Okay, so here. Yeah, just by that little movement, okay? And that's actually a throw and a feint. That's a feint. So you're throwing a feint and your opponent's reacting and then you're, then, you're, then you're countering on them, okay? Anyway, we're on that jab. So I threw my jab from here, or sometimes from here. I never really threw it from here because I didn't feel comfortable with it. Mayweather and a few of the other boys, they're really good at it really slick with controlling the range. I was successful with a couple of fights, but it wasn't really my forte. I, I got hit more if I tried to do it like that. Okay, but here, you can do it here. So here, and you change the, you're here. The best thing about that, that I found, I had one fight, I fought a, a, the Australian heavyweight, and I caught him really good. So there, I, I spent a lot of my, the time, throughout the round with my hands sort of here coming forward and then I did start to, to do a little bit of this within the training from my coach and then so I changed it from here and what that does the thinking side of it so when you're here when you're here your opponent can touch your gloves so he's then he then he knows where your range is so he knows where he is safe and when he is in danger so as soon as you take that away it messes with their range because they got to work out what distance they're safe and where they're, where they're not safe, you know? So, but, but you got to do it really fast. So I'll be having my here, I had here for example, and then I dropped it down here, and then he come into my range and boom, I caught him really good. Right hand, hold up. Oh. Okay, but that's just only one that stands out using a jab like so, but it's good to close the range on the, so you can hear, you can still throw it as a power jab, you can, you can flick, throw another combination off it, that's your core, but start here, and if your style is more of a Mayweather style, then that's your, that's your choice, okay, but I'd rather have my hands a bit closer up, up here, okay, then you've got a power jab, a power jab, so you've got the flick jab, yeah, you got the Mayweather jab, we sort of uh, here, yeah, and you got the power jab, the power jab. You're just throwing a normal jab, but you're pushing off the back foot, and you're covering that range, closing the range down. And with your wiser power jab, because your momentum of your body is coming forward. So here, there, but as soon as you step back here, and then step in, you're going to generate more power. So here, uh, here. Try and keep your center of gravity. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. If you do that, you've lost your center of gravity. Boom, you might get caught with an uppercut. And also, you're losing your center of gravity. 
you got nothing else after that. At least if you, you're there, you can move. And then throw another set of combinations, okay? So here, let's go back on that one. One, you can do a lot off the one. Okay, let's do a combo I call the Klitschko. The Klitschko brothers used to throw it quite well. Same with Lennox Lewis, okay? So they throw a long one and a long hook. But they drop that big sledgehammer down the middle. I call that the Klitschko. So this is annoying, that's annoying. No power, no power, but speed, hammer, hammer. Okay, so here, flick, flick, boom. Yeah, you gotta do it fast. Ba, ba, ba. You know what I mean? So if someone come at me on that, I'd have to defend at the front, and then I'd have to defend the hook. But what, what's gonna, the dangerous punch that's coming is gonna be the one straight down the middle. And then rip the body of it's there. Bag work, you can't, you can't miss out the bag work. Bag work is where all the hard work is done. You can do all the flash pads and stuff. This is raw hard. Because you know what, the bag, you can't knock the bag out. He'll knock you out more than anything because you get tired. Conditioning is number one if you're a fighter, okay? One thing you don't want to do in an eight or a 10, 12 round fight, get tired in round eight and your opponent's maybe not as strong as you, but he's fitter than you, he might get you at the end. So condition, condition yourself on the bag. <coughs> to get more power, use your hips. See here, I'm here, I'm here, dropping off the centre line. See that, see I'm using that hip. Same with the hook. Instead of, yeah, big difference. More power, yeah? And if you want to get faster, you got to think faster. So I'm going to think faster. Yeah? I'm 46 anyway, so I'm only as good as what I am. I always... But I learned a lot over my time, so hopefully you can pick a few things up from me. You know the other form of defense? Probably the best defense out there is your footwork. You can either slip punches, roll punches, catch punches, or just step back. Yeah? Move around. You can counter back, sorry, draw back, counter back with a, a two or whatever you want to do, yeah? So don't forget about footwork. That is why fighters skip to warm up and then they, then they, then they shadow box. They do three or four rounds of shadow boxing. It's a good time to zone in, think about your opponent, think about what you're doing, think about what you need to work on. Then you're nice and warm. Then you go to the bag or you go to your coach, whatever, yeah? You gotta think fast. If you think your punch is fast, it's gotta be faster. How to throw punches upstairs to set up the body shot, okay? My favorite, one of my favorite punches was the low three to the body. Okay, but you gotta set it up. You can set it up by many ways. This is one way here. So your opponent's here. So you can just go one, two, three. And, and, and your opponent will block the one, two, three. But you're after that low three on a 45 degree angle. So here. Yeah, so the one, two, three, they're gonna be fast, but not really a knockout punch, but fast, annoying, 
and you're after that low three. Yeah, you gotta be smart. Another one from the outside. Throw the one, two, then the low three, because your opponent's gonna defend it. If they don't defend the one, two, oh, they're in trouble. Here's another one going on the other side, on the four side. Okay, this one here, your rear hook. It's good to throw that off after a double, double jab. Because when you throw the double jab, your opponent will either step back or he'll block up, okay? So the double jab will cover both what he does, okay? One, one, four, one, one, low four. Whichever one you choose, but you gotta set it up. So what I'd do, I'd throw a double and then see what he does. So if he stays there, I'm got him, I've, I've got him covered. If he moves back, I've got him covered, but then I have to make sure my footwork is faster, okay? So in this scenario, I wanna throw the one, one, four to the head, okay? After the one, one. So I'll throw the one, one first and I'll see what he does. And he's not gonna move anywhere. So I already know that, okay? So here. I know what he's up to. Yeah? So he, he knows the one one's coming again. He doesn't know this baby's coming. Okay? So this time, he's staying there again. But I'm going to go to the body because he thinks I'm going to go for the four again to the head. But oh, I'm a one step ahead of him. So yeah. So the double jab there, he's there. He's there. Double jump, boom! Yeah, rip it in there, finish him off. But you gotta be one step ahead, you gotta be smart. Doesn't matter how big your arms are, or how flash your hair is, or how, how good your abs look, you gotta be smarter than your man. How to pivot, last one, how to pivot. Okay, so you're in your stance here. Okay, so to pivot, you gotta, you're changing stance. Okay, so from here, here, to step through it. Go back to orthodox, southpaw, because that's what position you wanna be in. But if you're a southpaw, then you gotta do it the other way around. Okay, so here, my orthodox position, southpaw. Orthodox, southpaw. Okay, now we need to speed that up. Orthodox, southpaw. See how I've taken my lead shoulder back? Yeah? Because then that'll set up the heavy, the three. Because you'll do a, you, you'll pivot when you've got someone on the ropes. You won't do it, Nat, like if someone's gonna move away from you. Because it won't work well for you, okay? So you might get someone on the ropes, one, two, three, pivot. Boom, boom, okay? So just for you to work on, just step through it. Make sure you're nice and balanced. Over here, step through it. Then jump through it, see how I jump through it? Good, okay, we're gonna do it on the bag now. Off of one, two, three. find that helpful jab the subscribe button comment below if you like what I'm I'm doing and demonstrating and teaching and I'll show you more of it see you soon <laughs>